Welcome to this new video on Git. And in this video, I'll show you how to log in to your devazure.com server using a Linux machine. In the previous video, I've demonstrated you how easy it's login and persistence of your login information thanks to Windows Credential Manager and thanks to the plugin that it's automatically installed on Windows to cache your store credential and to automate your login experience against your devazure.com address. And now I'll show you how you should proceed on Linux. First of all, you have a um, link in Microsoft included in the description of the video where you can um, find all the instruction to install your credential manager. And while in Windows, it's an automatic part of the installation procedure, in macOS and Linux, you need to do something manually. So in Linux, you can install, as an example, from Debian packages. And you can just go to the github.com git credential manager repository, and you have the distribution. So you can download your Debian package, and you can simply install with the dpkg command. The only difference is the old Linux distribution require additional configuration, and that is because you don't have a unified way on storing your credential on Linux. And while in Windows you have Windows Credential Manager and all your generated personal access tokens are stored inside the Windows Credential Manager, in Linux you need to install and configure one of the supported um, credential store, like Free Desktop Secret Service API or a GPG pass compatible file or the Git built-in credential cache. And you have various um, options and you can use the one that suits you most, okay? Just read these um, files and you can understand the various options you can have and how you can configure your, uh, your system. I'm using now the free desktop.org secret service API and I have a graphical user interface session, so there's no the problem. But you can use the GPG pass compatible file and just follow the documentation and you're ready to go. If you want to check what is your credential manager configured in the system, you can issue just the git config list and you can grab for credential. Okay, so you have, you can check that my credential helper is manager core and it's the credential manager written in .NET Core um, given, by, given to me by Microsoft. And I have the secret service credential store, so I don't have to re-enter the login procedure each time and gonna clone um, repository. Now that I am in a um, temp folder, I can issue a git clone and I can pass the login information of the repository I want to clone. And if I'm already logged in, the procedure will go simply um, uh, such as it will go successful. Since I'm not signing in, it asks me to open a specific page in Microsoft and entering a code to authenticate. I can just copy, go to my Windows, and entering the code, uh, you are not required to enter the code in the same machine you are. Now I'm the same machine, Linux machine I'm using, but you can do this in whatever device you want. It's just a confirmation uh, that I am really trying to log into this account. And here you go. Now I have a problem, probably, because I cannot create an item in the locket collection. And that's because I've, I've pressed cancel when it asks for my password. So this shows you that the token is stored securely. Okay, now I'm the log library center crowd and I issue a git fetch. And git is trying to authenticating, but it does not found any kind of credential. So it asks me to do the procedure. And this time I want you to understand one important thing. I'm pushing continue. And 
the Windows uh, authentication required ask me for the password of my user because the the command line, the Git tool, it's it's requiring to re-authenticate to um, uh, unlock my keyring where it can store the key so I get not asked for this procedure each time I'm contacting the server. Once I've typed my exit password, I'm now logged in and the Git tool can correctly use my configured my configure secret service um, credential store to simply reuse the login I the login token I have. So I I don't need to repeat each time I'm contacting the server that open device login and entering a code. As a final confirmation that behind the scenes the procedure always create a new get token, I have moved to my account user setting and personal access token page where I've previously removed all the my personal access token except one full on laptop. And I have a couple of new token. And I have two token because the first token was generated and give back to my application, but I've pressed cancel when my credential store asked for my user password to access my keyring where the token can be stored. So I was forced to do another login procedure using the same sign into your account procedure with a Microsoft page, special page. So the my Git received another token, but this time I've typed my exact password on my of my user account, so the get tool was able to store the token inside my keyring, and so if I'm issuing a get fetch, it can recover the token from the keyring, so I'm not asked for credential each time I issue a um, command that contact the server. As a final confirmation, I can simply revoke both token going back to my um, get, uh, my terminal, I'm issuing a get fetch and okay, it is the same experience I had on Windows. Git tells me fatal authentication failed for uh, a, my URL. So the reason is it retrieved, it retrieved my personal access token from the keyring and it got rejected because I have simply revoked from my account. So if you use a lot computer, um, a lot of computer, and if you sometimes use shared computer, please be sure that you frequently check your personal access token page to revoke all tools, all token that you are not supposed to keep alive. Clearly, if I'm issuing a get fetch again, the get tool is now uh, aware that the token previously stored, it is gone. So it kicks another authentication page with the usual, go to the device login page and entering another code to authenticate. And the procedure is always the same. It asks me to confirm that I'm indeed trying to sign into Visual Studio. I cannot close the windows. I come here. And since I already previously inserted my user password, this windows, the terminal is able to reach my credential store, my um, key ring. So if I'm issuing a get fetch again, I'm logged in. And if I'm going to refresh my page with personal access token, I have indeed another get personal access token uh, that was um, generated by the login procedure. And that's almost all you need to know in Linux. Thanks for watching and I'll wait you for the next video.